now we are going to do the inspection for number 2 main air reservoir so number 2 main air reservoir is in use and you can see the pressure is around 24 bar so first thing what we need to do is we have to change over the reservoir so that uh, the reservoir which in use should be isolated so for that you have to first open the standby reservoir and uh, isolate the, the reservoir which is in use this is the main air reservoir which we are going to inspect so you can see it's a very huge uh, main air reservoir it got a capacity of uh, 39 meter cube and uh, you can see the valves inlet valves for uh, from the compressor and outlet valve to the service so this is the main air reservoir uh, nameplate detail and uh, this is the manhole for this main air reservoir so you can see we have a number one reservoir and number two reservoir both the reservoir are in uh, fully pressurized so the reservoir which we are going to inspect is number two so we need to open number one for service so that is what we are doing now so open the number one reservoir and put it in service and close the number two reservoir which we are going to do the inspection so now uh, we had already opened the air reservoir for for number one main air reservoir and we are closing the valve for number two main air reservoir so we have to close uh, both outlet and inlet valve of the reservoir and uh, once you are done with that you have to drain it this is the drain valve for the main air reservoir we just need to open the drain air very slowly you cannot uh, you should not open it fully just open very little and you can feel the air coming out uh, through the drain air pipeline you can see the number two air reservoir pressure is getting reduced that means uh, air is being drained you can see number two main air reservoir low alarm is already triggered so now we need to check the tightness of foundation bolts so how to check the tightness of the foundation bolts so you have to first remove the tightening lock nut and you have to remove the tightening nut now we are doing that the reason why we need to check it we have to check the tightness of the bolts now you can see when I try to check the bolt is already broken it is already sniped off when I try to tighten it it's already broken and this is the reason why we need to do the tightness checkness very frequently make us recommendation so you found that the bolt is already sniped off so we need to renew that bolt so I will show you how to check the tightness of the bolt so first thing is you need to open the lock nut of the foundation bolt so now we are doing that just open it so once you open you have to remove the nut totally so now we are removing the lock nut once the lock nut is removed now you have to tighten the tightening nut foundation nut so once you tighten it then so now we are tightening it so after tightening it put back the lock nut so lock nut should be in place and then tighten the lock nut by holding the tightening nut with a spanner so this is how you have to check the tightness of foundation bolts and we have almost uh, four foundation bolts for this main air reservoir and the foundation bolt number depends upon the size of the reservoir somewhere you can see six somewhere you can see four also so it all depends once uh, your 
tightening it done we just put a marking over there with both the nut so that in case if get loose you can see it very easily so coming back to the sniped off uh, nut you can see you can see the bolt is being sniped off this might have happened because of uh, high vibration or maybe because of it's not been checked quite a long time and you can see the main air reservoir pressure is being reduced and uh, next thing is we have to check the support tightness support bolt tightness this support uh, guide you can see on top of the main air reservoir which uh, supports the main air reservoir bottle from vibration so if this uh, nut is loosened then the air bottle will tends to vibrate more and it may cause damage to the foundation bolts so this is the guide for which supports the main air bottle and this guide is connected along with the welded with the hull and uh, bolted with the main air reservoir so same way just uh, you can see when i try to tighten it you can see it is loosening so this should not happen uh, this might have happened because of vibration so again we have to tighten this so how to tighten is hold the hold one side and you can use a hammer and tighten it so first thing we have to tighten the foundation bolts of the main air reservoir the next thing is you have to check the tightness of guide support for the main air reservoir so usually uh, these guides will be either one or two depends on the size of depends on the size of your main air reservoir so two things we are done so next thing is uh, we need to do the tightening of the other uh, guide so both the guide we have to do the tightness so after completing the tightness you have to make a marking this marking is to check visually from outside so that if the marking is uh, changed we can easily make out that uh, there is some loosening happened in the nut so okay so we are done with this now the air bottle pressure is almost uh, empty so once the air bottle you can see is empty you can start loosening the air bottle manhole cover first we need to loosen the guide bar nut of uh, manhole cover of main air reservoir so we are loosening it you have to be very careful when handling the guide bar because these kind of guide bar are very very uh, heavy so you should not just handle it with one one hand make use of two hands so that you can hold it and keep it down in some uh, air bottles you will be having a very easy access but uh, this air bottle manhole cover accessing is uh, in a little critical area so it is you have to keep mind of the space you are working with so as i told uh, we have to make use of uh, two people so that uh, you can remove the bar easily so remove the nut and you can take out the bar and keep it in a safe place so we need to remove both the bars so the next bar we are opening just loosen the nut once the last nut is loosened remove the next bar also so in this type of manhole cover you will be having a slot for uh, fixing eye bolt for that you have to remove the existing bolt which is uh, threaded so we are now opening the thread so that we can give access for fitting eye bolt now 
slowly give a push on the manual cover and then open the manual lever and hang it down just uh, this is the inside view of uh, my inner compressor you can see the these are all the drain drain water the yellow color water is a drain water and uh, just have a visual inspection from outside only so before entering for inspection of uh, inner side of uh, main air reservoir you need to get a enclosed space permit and you have to gas free the bottle and then only you have to enter inside it so <coughs> so we are done with our uh, cleaning cleaning of the air bottle you can see all the black color spots been removed this is the valve seat just check for valve seat for any damage this is also the outlet valve seat and welding seams and you can see the other side this there will be a drain pipe and uh, there will be a hose drain pipe where uh, all this uh, openings we just need to have a look as whether there is any crack or just for uh, visual inspection that's all so this is how a air bottle looks from inside it is not so much clear but you can just have an idea how it looks like so you can see all the drain water which i showed you earlier this is where uh, the drain goes out and uh, <coughs> on top now uh, he is preparing uh, the manhole cover gasket area just clean the gasket seating area and we have to renew the gasket because uh, mostly it is always advisable to renew the gasket when you are inspecting the air bottle survey and just check the pin this is the hinges just check for the hinges and as i told you uh, this is the eye bolt where i fit the eye bolt for uh, lifting back for lowering it should not be issue for it when you are fixing back we need to have a, a strong belt to pull this heavy door towards you we just uh, inspect the manhole cover properly change the gasket i will show you the condition of old gasket mm, this is a new gasket which we are fitting you can see the it should be always a rubber gasket that we need to fit so always uh, keep uh, one man stand by outside the tank and one man shall be inside the tank so that he will monitor you and he will help you for anything so now uh, what we are doing is we are fitting the uh, belt along with the manhole cover to pull it towards uh, us while closing because the manhole cover is very heavy and we need a good support to pull it that is what we are doing now so once we are out we have to check for uh, any uh, anything left inside final checkups any rags anything should be not be there so once we are done with that the manhole cover has been closed and eye bolt should be removed from place and uh, just open and close to check whether it is okay or not any just give you a push and for proper it is properly settled or not okay so once it is done then what we need to do is we have to fix the stud bolt along with the nut both the guide bar should be in place tightened equally properly and that's all we are done with our job so main air reservoir inspection is very simple all you need to do is drain the air bottle check the foundation bolt tightness check the guide bar tightness and after completing your enclosed space a permit and gas spraying and the proper ventilation of the tank you can enter the main air reservoir and for inspection keep always uh, safety in mind both the guide bar should be in place and the nut should be kept and tightened so this is how you need to do the inspection of main air reservoir 
I believe uh, this video must have given you some information about uh, how to do a main air reservoir inspection on board ship. If you have any doubt on this, you can definitely put a comment on your uh, comment box or else you can WhatsApp me. I can definitely reply you. Thanks for watching. Thank you all. Keep supporting. Thank you.